What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the Tarot Tribe, where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. Shout out to all of you who stay tuned, wait for my messages to drop. In today's reading, I'm going to be looking at how and when your dreams will come true. So this is going to be a spiritual and a practical message from your higher self pertaining to your dreams becoming true and real. A few announcements. If you guys are looking to book a reading or a life coaching session or a consulting session based on more abundance in your life or join the soul journey webinar every month that I am currently hosting. You can find that down below in the description box and pretty much everything else that I have going on that's super dope is going to be in the description box. Also, if you're looking to go to your deck right away, you can find the pinned comment down below. That'll take you directly to the deck that you feel like is resonating towards you. So I feel like these messages are going to be centered around your dreams primarily and how important it is to follow your dreams and also how influential your intuition is on the path to your dream. So following your intuition, following your soul is really just following your heart. So I'm really excited to see what messages are here for you today. Again, will your dreams come true? There are four different decks you can choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Again, the question is how and when will your dreams come true? And these are gonna be messages from your higher self regarding your dreams. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what you guys have. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and how and when will your dreams come true? Okay, most importantly, wholeness. Innocence, take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike source of wonder. Something that I am hearing very clearly, deck number one, is that your dreams are centered around fun, playfulness, innocence, and also just enjoying life on earth. And so this is, they're putting it in a very simplistic way of seeing that your spirit never grows up. So you always remain the child. This childlike person is very free. Um, this person is very artistic, very creative. And so this is, again, describing your true self because I'm seeing that, again, your true self is connected to your dreams. And the dreams that you're having are, in a sense, belonging to your true, the true version of yourself. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen and tender embrace. Deck number one, I'm feeling like there are many things that you're here to manifest, okay? So this is going to be many different dreams that you have. So I, I'm seeing that it's not just one dream. There is one, if I were to say the bigger picture of your dream would be to just enjoy life from a very easy, fun perspective. This means having the ability to live freely the way that you want to live. And so it says, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. So this is going to be your dream of adventure, not wanting to always know what comes next. So this is part of the dream that you are here and intended on living. Let's see, practically a time for healing. Okay, so many things have occurred. Many things have occurred that have prevented some of your dreams from moving forward. In a sense, it hasn't really been the right time. So let's see. And I'm also feeling with the Queen of Swords here that spirit would say that it's very important for you to make a plan, but also believe that this is possible, okay? So there is some sense of wholeness that is taking place within you. This, this practical sense of taking care of yourself and healing yourself is also allowing you to be whole within. And that is really where your dreams are coming true. So let's get some clarity on your dreams for deck number one. Let's see messages, messages about, messages regarding dreams on how this will happen for deck one. Thank you. Ace of Swords. So yeah, this is gonna come in the sense of an idea I do feel deck number one, that your dreams will become more real 
when you have a plan of action, it seems like more of a plan in the future. So this is making the things that you want to do very practical. And so the Ace of Swords is here. And this is also about believing that this is possible. That's something that keeps coming up. Let's see what else is here for deck number one. Justice, we have Libra energy. What else is here for deck number one? Thank you. And Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So your dreams are definitely here to be, it's attached to financial freedom as well. And so your dreams are definitely co coming true. How will this come true? The chariot. It is definitely going to come through. We have now Libra energy. We have Cancer energy here. So you guys could be one of those signs. You don't have to be. But the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's able to produce an amount of income for themselves. I'm really feeling like you guys have an artistic side to you that is here to bring you some type of financial success if you guys chose this deck. I also feel like it may not be happening uh, quick enough. And I do see that this is going to happen. Give me the next five years. Thank you. Four of Swords. And right now, it seems like you're in a resting period. And Spirit wants you to focus more on trusting and having clarity. Let's see what is preventing their dreams from moving forward. Letting go the burden and projections. Okay? So this is more so of making amends with your past and kind of leaving it there so that you have this new beginning, this new chance of success. Again, a lot of financial success here. Your life purpose is centered around having fun and enjoying life, okay? So you're here to experience life, to enjoy things. And that also is attached to abundance because with more money, with more resources, you're allowed to accelerate this process towards your fulfillment. So you're able to see your dreams come to life with a more practical sense financially. So I am seeing that it is time to make a plan of action on how this dream can come true. So I am feeling like right now you have the burden, the letting go, the projections. You're kind of moving through this. It seems like quicksand. It's very slow. Let's see why. You're not alone. Isolation community. So that's something here too is... Let's see. Well, share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. So yeah, some of you could definitely be artists. Some of you could definitely have creative paths that you wanted to pursue at some ch time. Your childhood is very important. They keep bringing me back there. And so higher self is saying that when you were your truest self is when you were your most innocent self, happy, worry-free and that would be as your child so your inner child is at the core essence of your soul it is your soul and so this this inner child like wants to explore and so with that comes a lot of financial success we have ambition so this is going to happen ambition when you have ambition and freedom this is going to happen as well so this is going to happen through being able to live out your dreams, doing what you're inspired to do and inspired to do. What makes you feel free is also living out your dreams. So technically speaking, you are living out your dreams vicariously, like you're in and out, but sustaining this and making this an everyday dream and not just a one every birthday, it feels like I'm free. It's like if your birthday were every day, what would that feel like? So you have a dream of just being able to be free and be yourself. And I'm seeing that this is definitely happening. And I'm feeling within the next five years, something is getting ready to shift into more stability. And also there is, you know, this maturity in your finances. And so this is allowing you to have that freedom. And so another thing is, is that spirit is saying, if your dreams came true right now, you may not even recognize it because of the burdens. So these are burdens of thoughts of the past. Let's see what else is here for what's blocking your dreams from coming true. Deck one, why is the burden here? Thank you. Suppression. Okay. So there's some things that have to be addressed in practical terms. Your dreams are going to start becoming more real and more true as this healing is happening. Okay. So it's hard to kind of embrace it. That's what I'm hearing spirit say is it's hard to embrace 
your dreams when there is a sense of suppression or holding on to burdens. Burdens can be other people, but again, we have letting go of even the way you see yourself. And then we also have the Seven of Cups, which as you see, they have the mask on their face. This is a lack of trust. So this is a lot of emotional things that I'm sensing that if you guys are artists or you, for those of you who are artists and you sing or you write or you have some type of connection with music or dancing, I definitely feel like for this card to come up, for those of you who are resonating that, you know, the things that you have been through, the music is the channel. It's the outlet. Okay. It's the outlet for expression. And so I'm definitely feeling like you're coming into the sense of wholeness that's allowing you to be yourself. And who are you becoming? Someone who's speaking up. And so with open communication, we have get away off your chest, speak up with love and be heard. So you guys could be like into poetry. You could be a speaker. You could be an author. You could be someone who talks or someone people listen to. This is definitely, this is definitely who you're becoming in a sense of speak up with love and be heard. Let's see why this is here for deck number one when their dreams will come true, when will they? I release myself from self-inflicting binds. So your dreams are going to come true when you start releasing yourself from everything that is weighing you down or holding you back in a sense, okay? So you do have a gift. I am sensing that you guys do have a gift. It could, some of you, it could be with tarot or cards if you're drawn to it. And let me tell you, I was not drawn to tarot. It took me three months and I started my channel and I learned more and more the more that I've done it. And so I wasn't even into that. And now I'm starting to see more people become interested in tarot just to connect with your higher self. So it doesn't have to be religious purposes. It could just be used as a tool for you to get guidance because it's very important that you are in tune with yourself. And I feel like you're an empath. Okay, so this empath ability that you do have, many people may, you might find it hard to make those connections because we do have the Seven of Cups with genuine people, okay? I do see that justice is going to come. There is going to be a turning leaf, but some of these things have to be dealt with because it definitely is infringing on your freedom. And so they have to be dealt with. The things that are, you know, emotionally holding you back, we have the letting go card. So let's get one more practical card here. Your commitment is being tested. So that's how this is happening. So your dreams are becoming true, the freer you become. Okay. And then also a part of those dreams becoming true are financial dreams so that you have stability and more than enough so that you can live like a child. It's essentially where the, the earth becomes a playground and you are just here for the fun and the experience. Very simple at the this is a very, very simple purpose here. And so having fun and following your inner child is also what is connecting you to your higher self, okay? So that, that's when you're gonna be able to connect there, but it's hard to connect when you have burdens and suppression and you know things that maybe you haven't addressed or talked about. And so I am seeing that things are moving forward and your commitment is being tested. Let's see the last card for when, let's look at the next five, when this is gonna happen, thank you. You already have all the answers, voyage. So now it's just following what you know to be true, okay? Following what you know to be true about your dreams and about what you're here to accomplish and then having a practical plan. So that means not being stuck in dream mode, you know, where, you know, talking about your dreams, there's excitement there, but actually making a plan of action to materialize them here on earth. And so that's part of your purpose and what's bringing you wholeness as well. And we have be honest with yourself. That was the second card that came out about when your dreams will become true is when you start becoming honest with yourself about what needs to, you need to release yourself from that could be self-inflicted. And that usually means, you know, things that we bring upon ourselves or things that we bring to ourselves. And so with the burden here and projections and suppression, this is definitely detachment. So remember how I said that you're an empath. And so in past, you absorb a lot. And so the, the absorption that you're having, there needs to be a, some more filters there so that you're not absorbing everything and everyone because then you have to detach from all of that. And so I'm seeing that there are a lot of detachments. And so 
your dreams are becoming more true. It's like as you're going towards your dreams, you're detaching more and more and you become freer and freer. And this allows you to live your dreams uh, much longer. And so right now, things may be moving slow, even financially. We're going to get some clarity on that. Let's see. All right. Anything else about their dreams coming true? Queen of Pentacles. That's what I was looking for is your finances. So we have the Queen of Pentacles twice. Okay. I have everything I need to prosper. So the spirit is saying that you have everything you need right now to prosper. The wisdom that you have, you're very multifaceted. There are many things you will do. So all of the things that you think you need, you already have everything you need to prosper. And so this prosperity and at the bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. Okay. And I am sure of my place in this world. This is the certainty of your abundance. Okay. You have to know that you are this in order to attract this. So the universe is definitely wanting to give to you more because it's a connection to your fulfillment is your resources and your financial resources here on earth. And so I am also feeling like being present in the moment is very important. Also, they're making this very clear that, you know, don't sacrifice these present moments for future fantasies. Okay. Just being present. And being here in the moment, breathing and existing and being alive. This is the dream. That's the enlightened version. Um, and if that hits you, then that is a much higher perspective. We are already living this dream. Um, it's just that along the path, we get attached to many things that bring us down into a very low frequency um, feeling like we can't live our dreams or maybe we don't have enough to live them. And so I'm definitely feeling that this is something here. Last message for deck one. We have the hanged man. I can see this situation another way. So this is definitely going to require you to change your perspective about things. That's part of the evolution process. It's not just I evolved one time. It's ever evolving. And so you will evolve in many, many instances in your life but this is being open to evolving in all aspects and areas and that is just being open to possibilities outside of what's right in front of you and really just tuning into yourself understanding when you know that you're not alone you're being guided and this gives you the the ability to embrace your dreams too so that you don't miss them so i am definitely seeing that things are moving forward in the next five years something is going to happen in your dreams and let's just get clarity on what that is five years from now in their dreams let's get that clarity all right we have the page of swords and the three of swords so many of you have the opportunity to obtain your dreams and that's a lot faster by following your intuition so that is the benefit of having it. It is acting as if a flashlight was there to kind of guide you throughout this place in your life. And so as it acts as this flashlight that guides you through these tunnels of your life, it really does help you accept things a lot quicker. And so there will be many things that you will have to accept and let go of, but it is so worth it because I'm seeing that it is just truthfully um infringing on you reaching and obtaining your dreams much quicker and so i am seeing that in the next five years your dreams are becoming real and that is only through many of the sheddings that you have went through it's not a bad thing this is allowing you to become burdenless so that you can fly much much higher so if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading and how and when your dreams will come true. Don't forget to comment down below. Hashtag I believe if you guys believe that your dreams are becoming true every day. And I can get some words of feedback to you guys after that. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and how and when will your dreams come true. The Oracle's gift. Let's see what this is about. Balance. Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with work. So it depends on who you are that it will resonate with. You're either indulging a little bit too much in work or you're not doing enough 
or it just seems like if there's an imbalance that is keeping you out of alignment from obtaining these dreams that we'll talk about. So Embrace is here. Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. So staying grounded is going to be very important. And how do you do that? It's about being aware of really when you need to be grounded or, or having awareness of when it's too much. Let's see what this is about. All right. How and when? Let's look at how will that two news dreams become successful. And when will they become real? We got Virgo energy here. We have judgment. So five of cups, you are here to definitely live your dreams. This is like a sense of part of your purpose. I'm, I'm getting to with the judgment card here. We also have Virgo energy. So you guys could be a Virgo. You don't have to be five of cups is here. So this is about not really spending much time on the things that didn't work out, being open to moving forward. So let's see what this is also about. Last card for deck two and how their dreams will become real. So they're definitely going to become real. I'm seeing that it's a sense of creativeness that is attached to this. So I do see that there is where you're happy, where you're joyful. This is where your dreams are going to become real. And I'm also feeling like there is a celebration to come soon. Now, this is also just a part of your purpose here is to live these dreams. They're a part of you, but we do have focus here. Let's see why focus is here for deck two in their dreams. The world card. I celebrate life and welcome new energy. So yes, this is about being able to embrace the newness that's coming in. I'm definitely feeling that. We have 11 here, so that could be very important. But this year, if you've chosen this deck, it doesn't matter which year this is, but this year I am sensing because it's they're giving me a one year mark where something is going to change in your life. This would be like a revelation, something that is more of a revealing of who you are and the gifts that you do have. Okay, some of you could be centered into healing, um, healing some of your families. I mean, there are dreams that you have that are embedded in other people as well. So that means that you have a dream to share with others. You know, you have people around you that you love. And so I am sensing that your dreams become real when the ones that you love are around. And that's something that's getting ready to shift here. So it's saying celebrate life and welcoming new energy. So this means to welcome in new things and new embracing things. So let's see what this is. Hope, love, and acceptance. So yeah, your true self is very hopeful, very loving, and very accepting. And so love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So your spiritual awakening is going to be centered around even things that happen in your life where, where they're very painful to detach from. And that is because of the acceptance, okay? With this acceptance, the quicker you accept things and we accept things, the sooner we can be free from them. And so this is definitely something where you are here to experience a lot of new things. And so that's a part of this. And also with your spiritual awakening is following your intuition and your heart rather than your thoughts and your beliefs. So let's see what would be blocking these dreams from coming in for deck two. Patience. Okay. So I definitely feel like someone, some of you are definitely parents or will be parents or have a connection to birthing. Okay. Cause we have a lot of pregnancy here. We have the world. This usually signifies a new birth. This is also just a new representation of a new birth of who you're becoming. So you're no longer who you used to be. So the past is irrelevant. I am also hearing that. I feel like you're going to have your dreams are just so much love, so much community that's around you. And it's because you are here for a bigger purpose. And this purpose is connected to many other people. And I'm not sure exactly the depth of that purpose, but I am hearing that with the cosmic ancestor, you're definitely a star keeper and someone here to see the light. So that means that you're here to seek more for yourself. You're here to question, not just kind of follow. So you will definitely have a connection to an intuition of just knowing. Anything else for what could be preventing these dreams from coming forth sooner? 
abundance. So yeah, abundance, creativity at the bottom of the deck, Empress, letting go at the bottom of the deck, okay? And all of us will find that letting go isn't just a one-time thing. There are many endings that we will experience. And so that's why the acceptance of the endings are very important because they allow us to get right back into alignment of our happiness and celebration, even though events in our life could occur. So I definitely feel like your dreams are becoming real as you follow your intuition more and not about what you think you can achieve, because I definitely feel like you're here to embrace more abundance in your life. So 11 is very important. You may see 111. This usually means a new pathway. So if something is not working or it's heavy and it just does not feel right, that's what I mean by following your intuition is focusing on that subtle heaviness when it happens, something's not right. Okay, some of you I'm hearing it could be living conditions, um, needing space for yourself, um, needing to find that time away. So there could be many different instances. And so you can't really depend on people to tell you these things. Um, you just have to have that awareness of them. And that's because you're here to do much greater than the people, um, see that you're here to do. So you are becoming this new person. So we have the tower. Okay. So yeah, you will have many journeys with trying to figure out financial success because I'm definitely seeing that there is traveling here. Living your dreams happens when you travel, when you explore, when you're creating, when you're celebrating, when you're around the people that you love, and this is happening very soon. As far as financially, you have been through many different paths or will go through many different paths where you will find that whatever these career paths are, wherever these dreams are that you're looking to receive more money from are just not bringing fulfillment to you. And so there is a journey here that you will go on and it is your, your journey that you're going to be led on your own path by following your heart into more financial success. So let's see what that's about because we do have abundance here. Okay. And all of these cards are here. So let's see what this is. Okay. Let's clarify why abundance is here for deck two for their dreams. So abundance has a purpose to your dreams because it allows you to move forward with confidence. We have chariot energy. So you guys are definitely going to be moving forward and it's your dreams are happening after this spiritual awakening. Now they're occurring every day. We have the ability to live our dream every single day. However, sometimes when we're stuck, because you can see the five of cups, she's focusing on all of the spilled milk here and it prevents us from moving forward. It becomes a delay in our course, but you can move forward with confidence. And I do see that you have an attachment to having more abundance in your life. And so that is more than enough of what you need. And that is allowing you to live your dream. So you're able to live them whenever you're in this place of alignment with yourself. Let's see what else is here. Star family. You're part of a team of souls. Call and support. So support, love people around you that you really care about. This is going to be when your dreams are becoming true. Let's look at a practical sense of when they will become true. Emotions are running high. So yeah, I mean, many things, many manifestations of your dreams, maybe haven't been occurring as often as you would like them to because there are a lot of emotions that are running high here. There are a lot of spiritual awakenings. Many of you have gone through uh, many, many different things. And so with the, the judgment here, this would tell me that this would be spiritual things, things of death that change you forever. These are seeing things that you never thought you would see before. So there is a revelation of truth happening. And I do sense that you guys are connected to a star family. And so your dreams are becoming true every day and they become even more real. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches. So I'm definitely going to get some clarity on when that is co-creation in a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. So your dreams are coming true. They are coming true. They're saying, keep that vision, hold that vision. What else do you want them to know about these dreams before I get into this? Thank you. Okay. Let's see. You deserve sugar, not salt. But a lot of the, it seems like relationships, distractions, and where you're putting your energy is very important, deck number two, okay? Your energy, you have the ability to co-create with the universe, okay? You have here Spider Woman. She is someone who can co-create, okay? So keep holding the vision of your dreams. That's what's here. 
That's what hope is for is exactly here for is to hold the hope that you have for the dream coming true. Now, hope, love, and acceptance is all a part of this journey of keeping the vision and also understanding what you are worth and deserving of. So a lot of this is tied into some heart chakra things, emotional things that you've been dealing with, whether it's stress or worry. Emotional things are things that really affect your health, affect your focus, your clarity. Emotions are running high. It's hard to see. It's hard to know where the dreams are. And so one thing that I'm hearing for you, deck number two, is it would be really good to stay inspired. Find that thing that inspires you always when you're going through this. We have spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. So this is a second deck that had something about music. So if you guys are artists, we have a spaceship. Just imagine how much good music we don't know about because an artist was afraid to release it because of what other people would think or say. Just imagine how much content would be out there if people actually released what they recorded or actually posted what they took a picture of without fear. So I am sensing deck number two, that is very important. Your dreams are becoming real as you express yourself. And I see that it says openly because others are around you. I'm also feeling like some of you could be healers. Okay, very connected to healing energy. Your purpose is definitely centered around joy. So where joy is, is where your heart and soul is going to want to follow. So I am seeing that with your dreams. And then also the last thing I'm seeing is manifestation. So you are here to manifest your thoughts. So it's very important that you're thinking about what you want. Okay. So that's very important that you're thinking about what you want because that's what you're creating. That's what you're co-creating. So this is a part of the spiritual awakening is no, it's finding the truth with yourself and seeing that, okay, whoa, my reality is reflecting many things about me. So I am seeing that when you have this awakening, if you have not already, you are going to see that it's like removing the veil from your eyes. It's being enlightened to seeing the truth right in front of you. And so when you're not aware, you're not able to see the truth in front of you. And so that's why it's really important that you're undergoing the spiritual journey of just being in tune with your instincts and your inner self and, and what you're thinking about, you know, just being aware because you're co-creating. And so that's when the dreams are happening. We have feather think before you judge. Okay. So this is just really letting things flow and understanding that you're not doing this alone. Deck number two, you are co-creating with the universe source, God, whichever you choose to believe you are co-creating. Okay. So it's very important not to judge yourself to make your dreams come true. It's not your job to make your dreams come true. Your job is to be in alignment in living your dreams, actively going towards them and following them and being in alignment with them and then being open to receiving that. So I do sense that you are here for a much bigger purpose because you have the Oracle's gift. So let's see what that's about. Nine of Pentacles. I take the time I need to nurture myself. So this is also about being present so that you can be aware of the celebrations and the dreams that are happening all around you. Cause I am seeing that financially, you're definitely here to be abundant. Definitely. We have abundance here. We have nine of pinnacles. You're definitely here to be abundant. Okay. Last card for deck two, queen of swords. I protect what matters to me. So this is about what drives you, what's important to you. And then actively creating that and manifesting that. So many of you could even be inventors, designers, visionaries, people who really want to uh, want to manifest bigger dreams. So I, I'm also seeing that the spiritual awakening is giving you a sense of discernment to choose the right people around you because you will need help manifesting these dreams because some of you have big, big dreams. And so what I'm seeing here is patience. It, a plant does not grow overnight. We have a process. You know, she is baking the baby for a while here. It's not overnight that these things happen. And so the dreams are happening and they're coming. And so what spirit is saying is hold that message. Let's look at the next five years of when this will happen. The devil in reverse. So in the next five years, I'm de definitely sensing that you guys are freeing yourself from whatever it is that could be preventing you from moving forward towards your dreams. And something that I'm seeing is just, again, where you're focusing your energy. 
because where you're focusing it is what what's going to grow so if you're focusing it on your career that's going to grow if you're focused on this that's going to grow so that's something too is just being aware of where you're putting that focus because I'm seeing that things are definitely moving forward. You're coming into abundance. This is happening very quickly. More about this. Four of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely happening. I'm feeling like the next four to five years, is, there's going to be a major shift of being able to live your dreams much longer. And when I say that, I mean, you know, living our dreams, sometimes our dream is a birthday or a holiday. But Spirit is really, really sending out a message of embracing and celebrating your life every day and enjoying it every day and so i am sensing that for you deck number two so if you guys chose deck number two this is an overall message of when your dreams will become true so if you guys enjoyed that don't forget to comment down below like this video in the meantime i'm going to move on to deck number three all right if you guys chose deck number three this is your reading and how and when will your dreams come true Promise of the future, friendship. So deck number three, I was definitely feeling like your soul tribe, soul mates, or connecting with a community of people who are positive, uplifting, or a higher frequency is definitely part of a dream that you will fulfill in this lifetime. Now, everything that is set forth from here on your guys' deck is really going to be under the promise of the future. So this is everything that I'm feeling like is going to be in the future for you, for your dreams, and when they're becoming true. Step out of your comfort zone. That This is practical advice from your higher self. Step out of your comfort zone. A new romantic cycle begins. So also, you may have a life partner. I don't really like to use the term twin flame, soulmate, and all of that. But you will have a beautiful connection, I do see, that will help you fill out your dreams. Now, one interesting card here is have faith in your dreams. Okay. So this is definitely going to be not just the dreams that you know that you can achieve, but the ones that feel like they're out of reach as well is what I'm hearing for you. Deck number three, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life, breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. So deck three, your dreams will happen quickly and efficiently in the next three years, I'm hearing very clearly, if you stop micromanaging the universe and trust and have faith that the universe is doing their job, okay? So that is definitely going to be something that is between you and the universe, God, source, whichever you choose to use, because the faith in your dreams is definitely coming from faith in the universe and understanding that you're not doing this alone. You are co-creating together. Your purpose is centered around creation. In fact, is what I'm hearing. So your dream is to create. And one level is what I'm seeing is a creating a level of euphoria here on earth in this lifetime. You are here to create that for yourself. And so what you're after is a sense of euphoria. And I also feel like your dreams are true when you're around your soul family, when you're around the people that you care about the most. And so I am seeing micromanaging the universe, step out of the way, let the universe do its job. This is having more trust and faith in, in the universe. So deck three, we have three of pentacles, yeah. So some of you have dreams that you may have to employ other people. So some of you have dreams, big dreams, I call them stadium dreams, but you are only one source of light in that stadium. And so you have these big ideas, but your source of light is not enough to spark the entire stadium. And so some of you with these big beliefs that you have will have a community of others who bring forth that vision with you together, whatever that may be, and then also in career. So you will have money trees here. You do have a team that's helping you. So I am sensing that following your intuition is going to lead you to more help so that your dreams can become true because they're coming becoming true every day. I'm just sensing that there are bigger dreams that you want to obtain and that level I'm seeing it's through people. Okay. So people are a big part of, of the dream of making it happen. We have the magician. So yeah, you will manifest your financial desires is what I'm seeing too very quickly. So all of these are promises of the future. Okay. Is the magician. Let's see what the magician is here for. Thank you. The moon, let's see what's Pisces energy. You don't have to be a Pisces. What is the moon here for? For their finances and manifesting. 
creation. So this is learning. I'm sensing that this is learning more of who you are. Let's see why the seven of swords is here. And yeah, moving forward from the things that happened in the past. So definitely, definitely death three people. Okay. Your relationships are very important to your dreams coming true because some of you have visions and you have other people that are going to help you bring this vision to life. You're not doing it on your own. And so trusting people and trusting in, in general, okay? It's not really trusting people. It's trusting people to have integrity, to be honest with themselves. That's the best way to say instead of feeling like you're trusting them, you're putting all of your hope and faith into others. Because I'm seeing that spirit wants to, wants to take you to another level of help. But stepping out of your comfort zone is definitely something that that's bringing you to this next level when your dreams are becoming true. So the moon card is here. And this could be, these are subconscious things that may have happened in the past that made you feel like you were, you know, in, in, inflicting or in bondage of things in the past. You know, some of you may be worried about having to work for another person, having to go back. It's all in general for, for you if you chose this. It's just that fear of having to go through whatever that was again to obtain your dreams. But you're on a different level now. And so that's something that I'm seeing too. Financially, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. We have the Nine of Swords. So this is also taking more time to connect with your desires and your emotions of what brings you happiness and fulfillment instead of just acting on it. So this would be taking the time to make a plan before acting on something, making sure that your heart is in this. You have the three of swords here. So I definitely have a lot of sword energy, a lot of being in your head about your dreams. So let's see why this is here. Okay, six of swords. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely gonna be moving forward from things that didn't manifest in the, in the past, right? So some of you may have been discouraged around your dreams. And so now there is this, Fear that it may happen again. And so you must have faith in your dreams. Earth pulsing, slow down. Yeah, so don't move too quickly. Some of you will have exciting ideas that come in. Don't move too quickly. Make a, hastily is what I'm hearing, but make a plan to just slow down and have clarity before moving. I also see time and nature is here, okay? So time and nature is very important. That is more so of taking a pause out of the matrix, okay? Always tuning in with your spirit. Always tuning in with your soul. All right, so we have serious energy, bringing harmony and balance, messenger, okay? So the messenger card is here. And I also feel like you are surrounded by guides that are helping you and assisting you if you guys chose this deck. We have wise leadership. So yeah, you're definitely here to be a leader and you're here to lead others. So with the leader card, you will go through many things in your life before many others do. You will be a pioneer. You will create your own path. And that's what a leader is going to do. And so you're positioning yourself to become a leader, to lead others, and also believing in yourself to do that. So we have devotion is, is something that your dreams are going to come true. And you know that your dreams are becoming true when you are connected to the cosmic gateway. So those of you who uh understand the zone or being in that creative zone and being in that creative field right um there is a movie that i just watched called soul a really good animation about this but there is just something more that you're here to do okay and this is not just paying bills doing the same nine to five thing that many others are doing i'm seeing that you are here and connected to do things that will take much more bravery, leadership, and courage to do. And so you will, you, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful, miraculous changes are occurring. So it starts in your mind, I'm seeing for you deck three, to making that change of believing that this can happen and knowing that this is already happening and not missing it when it is happened, when it's happened, opening to discovery. So yeah, there's much, much more to discover here. So your dreams are starting when you are in a creative field, when you're in a place to manifest and bring things to life. So I'm seeing that's something that there is a connection to your dreams because remember your dreams are the DNA to your soul. And so they, they give you answers about who you truly are. And so I'm seeing that there is this place of creativeness that you explore. 
Um, and it seems to be, it could be imagination, but it's definitely from the soul. I'm also sensing that you are here to be free. So your dreams are to live in freedom. So that would mean being able to manifest what it is that you want to manifest, being able to seek out the soul family, having people around you that love you, care for you and vice versa. And the next thing I'm seeing for you, deck three is discovery. Okay. You are here to discover. It is part of the dream for you to discover, to travel, to explore. In fact, discovering new things and discovering anything we have here with opening to discovery but discovering anything that mat for that matter is going to be a part of the excitement that you're here to do so when you discover it excites you so seeing new things being a part of uh new explorations adventure all of this is going to be a part of what it is that you are learning about yourself so you're learning more about yourself through this but also what you're here to do so your dreams are centered around discovery and exploration when you learn and you have this urge to see more and want to explore more that is coming from your your soul your true self and that is your dream and that is something that i do see you achieving here right now what the blockages are right now Let's see right now, what are the blockages? So right now, I feel like the biggest thing is the peace. It's like there needs to be an, an environment of peace around you. You know, knowing when peace is important because this is where you're going to be able to have the clarity um, to guide you. So what is blocking the dreams or preventing the dreams? What's in the way of the dream? Receptivity, what's in the way of the dream? So that's being open to source, being open to help. Going with the flow, yeah. Trusting, okay? And so that word trust, it's so important because that word trust is a part of truth and truth is source. So for you, deck three, we have going with the flow is being open to the universe's guidance and help intuitively, allowing your intuition to guide you. And so we also have a lot of emotional things that have occurred that maybe have influenced on your judgment. Maybe you feel like judging your own truth around people who are close to you, how to, how to know when they're the right people, how to know this in spirit is saying that you do have a gift of discernment to trust that it's only when you start getting in your head, you start listening to the opinions of, of others, you start doubting yourself. These are all examples that they're giving me, um, to be able to judge, to be able to make a decision, to be able to trust yourself. Okay. So let's just see moment to moment, allowing this to happen. And then we also have the fool at the bottom of the card, not being afraid to take that leap of faith. Okay. Due to fear. So many of you do have dreams and, and we do, I do see that this is going to occur when you take that leap of faith. And then also when will this occur? Trajectory. Seven of swords. I take great care of what I value. When you start to take care of what you value, we have Aries energy here. You don't have to be an Aries emperor. I make empowered decisions. When you start seeing that you actually do have authority over materializing your dreams. Okay. So I am sensing that there is um, a sense of needing to be more trusting in your ability and the universe's ability to get you to where you need to get to. So I make empowered decisions. So this is not waiting for it to kind of happen. Like, okay, I'm going to sit and I'm going to wait for my dreams to happen, but taking action. That's what a leader would do. And the emperor is here. And then we also have the, the magician. So I wanted to pick up the magician because this would be the second time it's, it's poked up here. And what I'm hearing so clearly is the next step for you in your dreams is to take the leap. Okay. Take that leap. And when you take that leap, that's when you will start to see things materialize because the magician comes after the fool. The fool was in reverse. Okay. This is a leap of faith that's needed to be taken here. And so we have, I manifest perfectly what I desire. So focusing on what you desire, we have devotion here. So look at all these clues that the universe is giving us here for this message for your dreams. Okay. It's devotion. It's what are you spending your energy caring about? deck three man because devotion is not just what you love you know oh i love this i love that what are where is your energy devoted and making sure that it's it's devoted towards where what you're desiring the most so if you're constantly thinking about what you don't want to happen that is a desire it's not a good desire but we have alchemy that's why we have the extremes of life 
You have the gift of manifesting, of creating, but that could be good or bad. So I'm definitely sensing that this is something that you're learning here for your dreams to happen. And so I definitely feel like the next three to five years, huge pivotal for your dreams coming true, being aware of when you're in that circuit, okay? Because it's not when is the dream going to become true or real. We are living the dream every day. But what are we making of the dream, okay? What are we making of this life? And that's where we determine, okay, I want to live my dreams, okay? I want to live what I feel best and good about. That's your dreams. And so getting connected and seeing that, and I'm definitely feeling like going with the flow and allowing the universe to guide you is important. All right, last message for what Death 3 needs to do for their dreams to become real. How are their dreams becoming real? And when? Treat your body like the palace it is. Paint the sun back into your sky. Okay? So we have paint the sun back into your sky. So that is finding your happiness, right? Being able to do that for yourself. This is your happiness only being contingent on yourself, standing up for yourself. So that is definitely going to be detaching from, from relationships that are not or have been bringing you that drive, that inspiration, that motivation to want to move forward towards your dream. You will know it's your true soul family when they want to inspire you or they want to motivate you to going towards your dreams. All right. So yes, stand up for yourself is here. And then last but not least, we have let them go. Okay. And then we'll talk about treating your body like the palace it is. Health is very important. Deck three. Health is certainly wealth. Taking care of yourself is something that's very important that I'm seeing here. Investing in yourself because you'll never regret it. That's something I've been talking about. But we talked about letting them go. Okay. Letting them go. Letting what happened go. And being able to start fresh. We have 11. So 1-1. One, one. This would be a new pathway. A new leaf that you're turning. And I'm, I'm definitely seeing that something is happening in the next three to five years that is bringing you much more happiness. Something that is bringing you harmony and you're certainly living your dreams because you're able to manifest what you're desiring. And you, it's really about being aware of you doing that. That's the dream. And so when you tune into that, you see that you also see and imagine the promises of the future. And that is Again, the dreams, the DNA to your soul. So if you guys chose deck number three, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. Again, this is about becoming the magician. Okay, the magician is just not about manifesting. The magician is about being able to bring a thought or an idea to life. So that is the dream here is your ability to be able to do that and experience that here on earth. If you guys chose deck number three, hashtag it down below. I am the magician. And yes, it's a long one, but it's very important that you affirm that you are the magician because the magician is the one who holds the wand in the wand of creation. And I do see that this is part of living your dreams. So if you guys chose deck number three, keep having faith in your dreams. In the meantime, we're going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and how and when will your dreams become real? generosity you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness and possibility raise your standards elevate your expectations and you have unlimited potential so wow deck number four right off the bat spirit is really coming strong i'm seeing here with embrace your weirdness telling you to raise your standards also allowing you to elevate your expectations by allowing things to flow. So I am sensing that a part of your journey here and your dream here is to be able to give to others or care for others. Some of you could be parents. I really feel like family is important to your dreams. That's something I was sensing. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. And so this really comes from a sense of freedom. Deck number four is having this ability to be able to be yourself. I'm sensing and not having to carry others. We also have bigger picture thinking, inspired ideas and visionary. And the biggest thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is your financial status when it comes to your 
spiritual journey. So let's just see. All right. And so financially, I'm also feeling like there is a connection to you living your dreams and also having abundance in the process of that. So let's get some information on this. We definitely have a lot of emotions that are here. We have a lot of cup cards. All of them are emotions, feelings. Okay. So you could definitely be an empath. Giving back to others is also going to be a key aspect to attracting more abundance in your life. We also have Taurus energy in reverse. So this is the higher font. We have five of pentacles. That was the third time I seen that for you earlier while I was just preparing for your deck. The five of pentacles, the nine of swords, being worried about stability, finances, but seeing things from a bigger picture. So if you do have to start all over, spirit is saying that if you do have to start all over, start from a place of love, what you love to do, what you're inspired to do, what brings you peace and joy. What brings that peace and joy? Last thing, we have the moon, Pisces energy, and we also have the page of pentacles. So I am definitely feeling like some of you could be parents or just also focused on a foundation. So you don't have to be a parent. You could just be focused on a foundation here. Let's see what else is connected to your dreams. Forge, don't follow, pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. So I definitely feel as though your dreams are coming true. However, it is very hard to see them sometimes when many things around you look so dark. It seems like dark in the sense of not knowing, the unknown. And that's also what I'm hearing is to be able to embrace the unknown and also not to have that fear of lack. There is a connection that you have with the universe, communication. Yeah, I am sensing that you do have a way and an ability to hear your heart's wishes. Let's just put it in that way. Hear your heart's wishes. I see the nine of swords being up at night, not really sure what the next step is. Let's see what that is about because I'm feeling like that's very heavy. The next step in their dreams for deck four. It's more so if, if we, if spirit is saying, if we can get you out of your head and on to following your heart, your dreams will become much more clear to you. I manifest multiple opportunities. So the next step is to choose one thing at a time. That's what I'm seeing for you to bring into life. So you do have some inspired ideas that could be coming through on your path of discovering yourself. Yeah, we have infinite abundance. So you definitely are here for the purpose of receiving more finances. And so many of your struggles, if they are finances or they are around value or worth, these are just going to be obstacles that are being removed from spiritual support and connections that you have with, with other people, connections that you have with the universe. I'm just sensing that the closer you're getting to your heart and your intuition is the sooner that your dreams are going to, to manifest. Now, practically, you are good enough. I knew it had something to do with value, deserving. Um, and so it's so important that you understand your worth and your value when you're trying to attract more money, which essentially is more value. Okay. So you must know that you're good enough. We have Virgo energy now on the board. You don't have to be a Virgo, but Virgo, Taurus, Pisces energy here. Okay. So you don't have to be those, but that is coming up. You are good enough means that you are also good enough to believe in your dreams. You are good enough to manifest your dreams. You are good enough to have these dreams. You are good enough for money. You are good enough for love. You are good enough for peace. So it's not just, oh yeah, I'm good enough. This is really diving deep into understanding that. So let's see what could be preventing these dreams from coming forward sooner. What's preventing the dreams from coming forward sooner for the person watching this? Politics. Seven of Swords. So this is people, things that have happened um, that have maybe question, uh, had you questioning this, deserving this. Maturity here is in the reverse. So finances, learning more about your relationship with money. I feel like many of you may have not been taught about certain things. And so again, there is this connection, deck number four, that you have this stream of abundance that is supposed to flow effortlessly to you, okay? And how this is happening, this isn't just like, oh, okay, tarot priest, give me the manual on how this is going to happen. We have beyond illusion here. This is, an, uh, this is an awareness. 
And sometimes when we aren't aware of something for so long, it's harder to see. And so I do see that your, your dream is in connection with having an abundance of many things, good, many, uh, many things, good health, peace. We have, it's not yours to carry, not having worries, not having to worry. It seems like about, you know, where to live, where to go next year, where to do with this money, how to invest this. So I'm definitely sensing that what is preventing this is a lot of politics and distractions, of course, which is just low frequency energy. Okay. And we have beyond illusion. There's a spiritual awakening of evolving still happening so that you understand why you deserve to live your dreams. Cause it's like for you, it might sound too easy to just, Oh yeah, you're here to live your dreams. That might sound too easy. And that tells me again from the past, you know, limiting beliefs of having to work hard to earn things, certain things like that. You're good enough because you are abundant. You are it. So it would be like, am I good enough for myself? Am I, am I good enough for my arms? That would be the same thing as am I good enough for abundance, except money and other things have been programmed a little bit deeper. So deck number four, definitely politics and distractions, low frequency things, preventing the dream from coming forward, higher learning. Okay. So yeah, there is definitely an evolving because when you know that you're good enough and you know that you're worthy, you will look like it also and not just on your avatar or your body but you will look abundant you will look worryless you will look carefree and peaceful so that is about being good enough also to receiving what the universe has for you and you're not for everyone that that came out right away you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness okay you have learned from experience but more inner study is now required to further your progress so this is an inner study of what are your dreams and who are you? So there are some more deeper revelations that are coming in. Is there anything else from preventing dreams from coming forward for the person watching this? Past lives in reverse and sorrow. So many of you are breaking generational things. So again, depending on who raised you, you there are some things that maybe they went through that you are going through or have went through or, break, or or overcame, I definitely see that you have been moving through a lot of energetic things. They would call this a generational curse, many people. And that's like your grandfather did it, so your dad did it, now you do it, and your children. And so that's a good thing if it's like, oh yeah, we all represent love, but some of these things that you had to break are just things that were bringing you sorrow, um, habits, certain ways, pathways, that we're doing that. Let's see why else the past lives is here. Bird deck four. For their dreams. Guilt. And the miser. Guilt and the miser. Okay. So this is again not feeling guilty about having. And this is again coming back to how you feel about your dreams. How do you feel about the dreams? Okay. Because we have guilt. We have sorrow. And so this, this seems like this could be the energy that you're coming out of. Or went through and experienced. So let's get some more. Some more information on this energy here. What is all this doing here? Lovers. Okay, so it could have been just a relationship or, or again, it is some type of connection here. Mm. 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 Yeah. So if you guys chose deck number four, I'm hearing very clearly God, universe, source, whichever you believe in. It's very important that you understand that that frequency of the universe is love, unconditional love. And it's it's knowing that you're worth that, you're you're worthy. You don't have to earn this type of connection. You have this connection within you. You don't have to be worthy of it. It just is within you. And so embracing and accepting that you don't have to feel bad. It's like whatever that connection is between the relationship with you and source, universe, God, whatever you choose. It, it definitely needs some mending there so that you can trust more in this because this is what's going to help you create the life that you want to live here. And this is what's going to make sense of many things in your life that for, and so not to feel guilt or shame about who you are, what you've done, but to be open to embracing the awareness of the truth and where you could have done better. 
okay? It is understanding more about yourself, okay? So taking the time, being easier on you, I'm definitely seeing that. So practically, we have what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Because this is preventing you from living your dream. So it seems like this is like a five to seven year change that's happening in perfect harmony. Yeah, so even if you don't do anything, your dreams are already in perfect harmony. So even if you take the wrong path, there's no such thing because all the wrong paths still lead you to the right path. So there is really no such thing from a higher perspective of the wrong path. They're all just redirecting. It's just when you trust your intuition more so that you don't have to be redirected so often, you get there sooner. And, and that trust comes from that relationship with your intuition and how you feel about why you're here and so many more things. So let's see if there's anything else for deck four with when their dreams will become real. Release your guilt. That's the second time here. Guilt and shame are the lowest frequency in the energetic field. Lowest frequency is shame and guilt. Okay, so this is forgiving. Forgiving yourself for everything that you may have felt like, okay, I could have done better. Also, justice is coming. And also not allowing your past to dictate the future to come. So your dreams are becoming real with the more possibility you believe in them, okay? The more you believe in them, it's like the more clear they become. But the less you believe in them, the more foggier they become. And so it's being able to really see the dream and to know that you are here for a bigger purpose. We have bigger picture thinking, okay? You come from a beautiful place, deck number four. So the last thing I want to say to you is that the ego, your mind, is very insatiable. It thinks that it knows what it wants. And, and you know, I see this all the time in the coaching and, and your mind becomes this dictator of many things that you think you want. And so that's where the spirituality comes in. I'm feeling like that is when your dreams become more real is when you start focusing on your soul fulfillment, what will really bring you joy for a long time without the dependency of a person being there or without, I will be happy if I have this job without the contingency. That's where the true spirituality is. I'm seeing in your path and the start to your dreams becoming real is when you see that dreams are real. So it's much more than, than becoming true. You must know that they are real. So you must believe in the magic before you can be the magician, which is the one who manifests their life of fulfillment. And also you are here to experience bliss. So you have the ability to create heaven on earth, hell on earth. You have the ability to create either. So because you have this creative ability, you can create bad or you can create good. And so your soul desires to be in heaven, to be in bliss, to be in a place that just feels like it's too good to be true. But you must believe in the magic before that can occur and, and happen. And so I am sensing that. So let's look at the next five years, seven years. I, I'm definitely feeling like it's five to seven years that these things are happening. So yeah, not, not going through the same thing here. Okay, with the devil card, seven years, yeah, the wheel of fortune, okay? So basically what they're saying is the things that you feel like you have to make a decision on right now, okay, they will, you will still be on this wheel until you break free because ultimately what you're looking for and what you're trying to obtain is freedom, okay? It is a, a, a deep sense of fulfillment. It's deeper than what you think. It's deeper than the ego. It's deep, deeper than your mind. And so you will just go on this wheel until you realize that your dreams are real. And so being patient with yourself on this process, of course, but knowing that you can break free anytime. And so the, the, the decision of being free will never go away because your soul will always desire it. And so when you follow it right away, things happen much quicker. So with you, deck number four, I'm sensing that this could take some time if the cycles are not broken. And I am definitely sensing in your finances. The cycles of not trusting your intuition or your instincts or the financial cycles or holding things that are not belonging to you, um, absorbing others' energy and carrying that with you. So, you know, all of this is amounting to your dreams becoming real every day. So I'm hoping that this gave you some type of inspiration to continue to have hope 
and the possibility of this happening. Okay. Because when you don't believe that it's possible, then it's very hard to see that it's actually already happening. The magic, us being alive, the everything that's already happening is magic. But if you do not think of something as a possibility, it's very hard to manifest it in your energy field versus something that you're thinking about for a, a lot of time and, and focus of this could be possible is what forges that path for you. This could be possible. So if you guys chose deck number four, hashtag down below, it's possible. And this is affirming that your dreams becoming real is possible and it's happening every day. But now it's about sustaining and, and living in a space of peace and bliss. So being honest about, okay, how many days out of the year am I truly in a state of bliss and happiness? And how could I align my life to get there? And that's kind of what this was an overview of. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe, like the video, come back for the next one. I can't wait to see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Love and light.